most programs, it's head coaches only. I do know for Brighton, it's every coach. The program Brighton is requiring every coach to level and certify. The other thing, I guess, from a housekeeping standpoint, we'll talk about the coaches meeting is just make sure you get your badges. So this is one thing that is always an issue. Um, <coughs> if you don't have your badge, you'll be asked to leave the site. So just make sure you get your badges. Just go do it now, and you'll be in plenty of time. Everybody waits till March 15th to get their background check. Is there two background checks? Yeah, there is. Board? Yeah, no, neither one should cost you anything. So there is a background check for U.S. Lacrosse to keep your U.S. Lacrosse membership current as a coach. That's a requirement they put in last year. They actually didn't even tell us about it, but yes, it is a requirement. And then uh, you do have a background check for us locally. The reason that we have the two, there is, it's really the badge. So we want a badge on the sideline. Um, the other thing is that they do kind of cover different, a little bit different things. We've had extensive conversations about this. Uh, we feel good about the one that we have here that produces a badge for us. U.S. Lacrosse is making us use their background check. What U.S. Lacrosse is doing with their membership is the background check and the safe sport training that you go through um, is part of a national youth sports initiative. So they're trying to get on board with soccer and hockey and gymnastics, all these other sports, trying to basically have a same, you know, the, the same training for all youth coaches, which includes safe sport, background check, and a couple other things. So does anybody know the safe sport one? Yeah. Started the day actually. So uh, like I'm I'm so not was, a, I'm not a fan not of like just hours. doing things to do them. To me that was probably the most valuable training one that I've seen in a long, long time. It, it, it's just like oh just stuff you should be thinking about going, oh, okay, yeah, I guess that's something I should think about. Like, I guess in today's world, I gotta be aware of that, you know, stuff like that. But, so safe sports really uh, something that I would certainly endorse and is, is really important. But yeah, those are things that are, because U.S. Lacrosse <laughs> is kind of partnering with now these other national organizations, they're trying to create a unified coach certification process across all sports. Which is a good idea. And assistant coaches must do the same for the right? They have to do this, I think they have to do safe sports part of the US cross membership, right? Yeah. I mean it's part of that. I was talking with another parent about the safe sport because mm -hmm. I was really impressed with it. Yeah. And um, yeah, the guy said we've been doing that soccer for years. Yeah. And it's great. Yeah. So I'm glad they implemented that. Yeah, it's good. It's it's good. They used to do that positive coaching alliance thing. I was never really a big fan of that. Um, but just in, in today's world, it's a, it's a super healthy reminder. Hey, these are things you got to be aware of, you got to be doing. Um, you know, there's other safety things. Like I, like I wrote in an email last week or a couple weeks ago. I had a kid in one of my practices, a goalie get hit in the throat. Uh, basically, was going into shock. Had to call the paramedics. You know, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. But just having an emergency plan. You know, do you have everybody's numbers, the parents' numbers? Because it's like, okay, do I have mom's number? You know, do you have insurance information, that kind of stuff, just in case you need it, you know. You just never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, luckily that's the only time so far in my career I've ever had to call emergency response, but, um, and luckily he was, he was okay, but, you know, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was not, it was not good. Other questions? Cool. Well, if there's any questions I can answer <coughs> later or whatever, I'm happy to try and answer your questions for you. Hopefully this is just a, a, a different approach maybe to how you can maybe approach offense and, and teaching it so where it's not too um, overwhelming, so where kids can just you know bite off little pieces and, and you can just say, hey look, you only have to know eight things, you know, to really be an effective offensive player. Now skill-wise we didn't talk a lot about that, but you know, passing, catching, ground balls, that's all paramount, learning how to shoot, how to hold the stick, how to cradle, those are all things that you know they have to learn. Um, and if, you know, if you don't feel qualified, you know, maybe get a, a college or high school player, maybe come help you out one day at practice and just go through cradling with everybody or whatever, make sure it's a kid that knows what he's doing. So he, he doesn't teach them more bad habits. <laughs> there's plenty of those out there. But, you know, if there's anything I can do to help, I'm, I'm happy to help. And if you want to come watch some lacrosse, come watch you, you play on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good night. 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 Good night
So my kids are in the fourth grade. Oh, no, that's fine. Are you kind of out in the last week's story? Yeah. And I hit it up, and it's kind of crazy. I'm just here. I'm so proud. I'm just kidding. 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 i you want to have a good experience. You want to have a good experience. That's the cycle back through with Will. He broke his femur last year's scheme. Yeah. And so he didn't play the last year's scheme. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. First yeah. Well, I've, I've been on both sides of it. But I've heard about it. Years. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It just got yeah. smashed. Yeah. You know, yeah. but, uh, the teams are doing really well, the more frustrating it was for me. Because they yeah. don't think that it's just too easy for them to do that. They don't want it as they do it. Right. It's going to be. Oh, look. It's going to be. Oh, look. For the cast, just wants to help out and manage. Who's like, who's bad, or feels it's not necessarily coaching, but just like managing. It's the third quarter in this case, I think it's more about the same thing. So that's the right decision at the time. You make the right decision. And if he doesn't make it, he doesn't drop it. Or if he drops it, he drops it. Eventually, that catches up. Eventually, you can play with players. Um, actually, no, it's, a it's, it's hard. It's hard, um, but, but I have, we always try. We have too many Johnny, you're big. Go run over all those guys to get us It doesn't matter if you have a 10 guy the field. But, I mean, how many kids you see on time? I mean, how long you do the I mean, there will be kids in a game. six or two hours. How long is that? Yeah. I know, I know, there's that one first. Yeah. Yeah. There is that. I mean, you can't really make all of that. Yeah. 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 But there are some. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so yeah. I'm going to do it. Half hours, three hours. Oh, I keep going back to it. Yeah. Who's going to keep trying? Yeah. Seniors, seven, eight, this year. No, you're trying. Yeah. 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 Tucker, that's what you're saying. Tucker's insane. That kid is all kind of bubbly, so I look at his uh, scrapper. And then this is the code. Oh, okay. All right. You know the code? Okay. Good. Oh, yeah. He's infamous. The code is infamous. Infamous? Yeah. Don't do this. Yeah, it's a good We've had a good time with those kids down there. Their kids, for the most part, are trying to get better. Those three of us on that all. It's fun watching people trust each other as well. Yeah. They pass the ball on, you know, it's like they're getting to another level, so yeah, that's good. All right, hey, thanks. Good, you nice. yeah, guys. See you later. Okay. This was on. Okay, sixth grade, huh? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Rich, um, what's the best thing you got? I can't read this from. Long, long, deep. Okay, it's a muck up ball at either one. I'll have fun. Oh, um, yeah, you too. Um, you know, for the, those guys. I mean, we're going to have. A lot of them are hard to but they love them aren't. So, well, if you if you want, I mean, you could you could teach the high ball, low ball stuff that we're running. You know, you can learn it. Kevin is more the designer of that, um, but it's pretty easy stuff. It's just hey, the ball's behind. So we're moving the crease. We're moving the crease guys up because we're running the two two two. So we're moving the crease guys up and having them more drop each other. And then when the ball's on top, we're moving down. So they go pretty good. Going. Mm. They're getting there. They, you know, they're getting there. I, don't, I would say that they're great at it yet. But um, so continuing that. Yeah, and just have them be facilitators. Tell them, look, you guys are the better players. Move the ball. You know, don't be a, don't be a ball hog out here. Don't feel like you got to do everything. Move the ball. You know, and say if you want these other kids to get better, you have to help them get better. Put put some onus on that to try to do that. Yeah. At some level, you gotta have, you know, you gotta bring up the other kids with you. you know? and it's great that you five are really good, but you know, everybody else needs to be better too. Right? Yeah. How are things going? It's good. It's good. Busy. Mom, practice now. Yeah. Dome or what do you got tonight? Good practice tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the dome. Yeah. In the dome. So. Is that where you play on No, we're gonna play outside. They don't let us have fans in there. So, it's supposed to 
It's a passion. It's supposed to be 45 and sunny outside. Oh, okay. Well, oh, we are. And we didn't get as much sun in there. Yeah. So, like, we only got that much. just in our house. No, we didn't get that much. My house had three, and the, 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 the bubble was one like an inch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we should be okay. But, you know, I, I, would, I, would lean on those guys, I would lean on those kids to say, look, you guys have been doing the right things here. Don't come out here and start, you know, yeah, do the do the right things. Do the, I mean that would be my motto. Do the right things. You know, do the things you've been taught. You know, you've been taught how to pass, how to catch, how to shoot, how to move. You know, how to play. You know, how to play defense. And, you know, just try to keep them doing those things. That was my favorite year of high school kids and clubs. Like I'd have to mix them in the air clubs. Like they go play high school ball and it's like great. You know. <laughs> um, Tyler. Doing okay? Yeah, I mean he's learning. You know, he's behind just stick wise, like his sticks go up, you know, athletically he's fine, but he's he's coachable and learning. Do we have an, enough coming for we have enough coming and because we have between twelve and eighteen coming, you know, which is great. I still I still think, you know, we need to probably solidify, you know, uh two E Ray, uh, this guy they in they showing up with all of this. Or? No, but I know Charlie communicated with Tui's mom. But I think probably the Ray's probably nine. Just because we need to know, like, defensively, do we have enough guys? Yeah. yeah, do you want? We don't want to play Sam and Jeremy. That's we want to play with me. So much better there. So we can, we're, we're pretty strong at MIDI if we have those guys, but we, you know, we're, we're just thin in defense. Because you got Van, Drew, and you know, uh, Graydon. Thank <laughs> you. 